Hello, my name is Neil and I'm the best friend of the Hello, my name is Neil and you're new to this channel. Welcome to my thoughts on this channel, which most of you Hello, my name is Neil and if Hello, my name is Neil and if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Today, as you can see from the title, it's another Saturday video, which we're doing makeup and we're going to be talking about my life problems. Now, I do videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Like I said, Saturdays are more makeup oriented videos and on Wednesdays are random videos that no one really watches and or cares about. So, um, like I was saying, we're going to do our makeup and we're going to talk about what's inside. We're going to be talking about my ex's best friend. Now, disclaimer, if this comes to people who know me in real life or know her, please do not her name in the description box below. I will give her a name because I don't want her to be attacked because it's not her fault. And um, to the person who I am doing this video about, I created this video not to create harm for you. I completely forgave you for everything that happened and I apologize for the way I said things. Um, they weren't meant for you to take it the way you probably did, but I understand why with the way I said things. Um, I'm making this video honestly for clout. <laughs> Cause story times like this, um, but no, no, really, I didn't. I don't mean to do any harm by making this video. Um, but yeah, I honestly forgave you a long time ago, and I understand that things aren't gonna go back to how it was, and that's not how I wish it to be. Um, hopefully, we both grow up as people, and you, whenever you create new relationships or friendships, that it doesn't end the way ours did but yeah so that's my disclaimer um before i do this video please do not do any hate comments about this person or anything do not try and figure out who this person is you know who this person is don't go to them and uh create trauma or try to create trauma and harm them because everyone makes mistakes and we should forgive those people instead of continuously um, being upset and thinking horrible things and holding grudges. It's not healthy to do any of those. So this video is just for content. It's not for me to attack anybody because honestly, I'm not looking for drama. I'm just, I'm just saying how life went for me. Yeah. Um, this outfit that I'm wearing is honestly not helping my case, but uh, yeah, before I actually, before I actually really talk about this, I just want to talk about how um, my week went because honestly, well first you can skip this little part of me talking about how my week went if you don't want to hear that, if you just want to hear about everything else, but um, this week was a really harsh week for me. I, just health wise, um, I generally had a horrible week first i had a really bad neck cramp where i could not move neck cramp yeah where i could not move my neck at all and uh it was really bad and then i had bit my lip really bad i'm not gonna show it but um i have a really bad crank or sore so every time i eat it it hurts um but yeah, so I honestly don't know what's going on with my body at all. I use this palette like always. Also, I will put all the products on the side if you haven't saw that already with concealer I just used. But um, yeah, I had I have a cranker sore and it's not a fun feeling. And then I was feeling very dizzy and um my eyes were burning because all i was doing was on my computer for two days straight just doing assignment after assignment for school it was just a lot so and also i had to get a new editor because um when i mean new editor i mean 
new editing software because I don't have money to friggin get an editor for my videos. Okay, I edit my videos myself. Anyways, yeah, so because the other one would just destroy my quality of the videos and just take forever to just export and everything and it kept on like just not working and kept on destroying my life. So I went ahead and just got a new one. So yeah, that's life. But anyway, So she would do that thing and it would just go oh. and it would cause problems in friendship because she would constantly say that anything would cause her this and it created two big arguments and one of the arguments ended our friendship. Um, I was already feeling a strain and I was already um, having other friends and I was talking to other friends and I was just hanging out with them and he felt as those friends were replacing her I guess um, and that I was no longer being a friend because I had other people that I was talking to and these friends I would just hang out with them for k-pop things because of course i'm a k-pop fan and this friend and i she was in a k-pop fan and i told her like well they like the music i like so obviously i'm gonna try and hang out with them because i want to have friends who like the same thing i do and i'm not gonna like you're my best friend they aren't my best friend you are i just like you know hanging out with them and she was like oh well you stay at their house and stuff like that and i'm like well because my mom lets me and the whole issue was that she was like oh your mom this your mom that like you're your own person which i get you know like i am my own person but i can't just like constantly like do whatever i want like i should also respect my mom decision my mom's decision like sometimes my mom would have like really wrong like she would do things that were incorrect but she's still my mom at the end of the day like i'm not gonna just constantly defy her all the time like the like yes i am an adult yes i'm my own person but i'm still under her roof so like that was just really it and that's how everything was going on like she wanted me to hang out with her all the time and like i get it because we're friends you know and like you want your best friend to be there for you as much as possible but like i have my own life i go to college and yeah so that was kind of how i felt at the moment and like, I didn't want to defy her, but I didn't want to, like, defy my mom, because that's my mom. I only have one of her, you know what I mean? Like, I can't get another mom, <laughs> you know? So, that's how I felt. Um, and, like, now my mom knows, like, hey, like, yeah, I'm my own person, like, some parts it was true that my mom would be very like up my behind for a lot of things i get it she's my mom but she also didn't like like how i was coming out of the show which i get now because i i worked with kids so like a lot of things i'm more heavily understanding of what it means to be adult by watching how kids act i'm like wow i really did that i really was like that huh so I get it, um, but at the same time, I was, I was like 18, 19, um, I was starting to become a young adult and I wanted to live my life as a young adult. 
Okay, so now it's a whole bunch better because now I can actually blend this a lot better. <laughs> like, look at it. It's less, it's looking a little less cakey. I also forgot to apply primer, so. Whoops, that's my fault. Anyways. Um, yeah, so. We had a few arguments. The main two arguments were one, the day before her prom, and two, the last argument that ended our friendship. So I'm going to talk about the prom one because this sets the scene, okay? So I already told you who she was dating and um, she uh, just kept on saying about stress and her having this. And this is after she broke up with him. So uh, she spent a long time and then... I think he was cheating on her so that's when she ended the relationship and she went to the gynecologist and they told her she had an STI so um this was towards prom now for her prom there's a thing called operation prom here in New York and there are other places I think in the US but basically they give you free prom dresses and I told her, hey, you should sign up just to see dresses. You don't have to use it for prom, you could use it for your graduation. So that way you can spend less money if you would like. So we go and I get a dress and she gets a dress, right? Now, I get a white dress, which I never use and that goes with the scammer story. That's where I got that dress. If you wanna check the scammer story, it will be up here or up here, wherever the card is, um, you know. So you can um, watch that video about the scammer. Um, but yeah, so she got a dress and she wanted it for her graduation. So we make plans again to go ahead and get her a prom dress. Um, so we go looking for a prom. I go with her prom dress shopping. This is good information for later. Okay, so I and her go to go buy her prom dress. Now, I'm just here chilling with her. I don't have to go with her, but because I'm her best friend and I care, I go. Good information for later. I'm going to apply so much concealer because I want this area to be lighter. I'm horrible concealer. Hello. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of concealer. Anyways, um, but yeah, so we go prom shopping, we go jewelry shopping, we go, um, we also go shoe shopping, and, uh, she asks us for my opinion, she takes the opinion, you know, we run with it. And then, a day before prom, she, she texts me, hey, I don't think these shoes look right with the dress, and I'm like, well, why don't you go try them on? By the way, I'm here going to my other friend's house, which is far um and she tries it on and she's like oh my god you're such a fake friend why didn't you tell me they wouldn't fit i believed in you i thought you were a good friend blah 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 it's all these stuff that's not the exact conversation that but that's the basic gist i don't remember because it's been two years since so she says and i quote since you did this to me you should buy me shoes and i'm like um i'm far away she's like well there's malls in there you should go i'm like wait hold up <coughs> wait hold up why should i buy you shoes because you lied to me you're a fake friend you owe me to buy me shoes because you're trying to sabotage my prom by telling me these shoes work. I'm like, it's not my fault. I just gave you advice. I thought those shoes work. It's just an opinion. And she's like, and your opinion is about to cost me my prom. And I'm going to look like horrible. And uh, you don't really care because you already had your prom. This is not your time to shine. It's mine. Like, can you... Please not sabotage my prom. I'm like, you could have asked or tried on the shoes a long time ago. 
you know you can still return these shoes, right? You can still return these shoes and find other shoes and use the money of these shoes that you don't want to buy you new shoes if money is a problem. And I'm like, listen, we'll talk later because you're obviously upset and you don't know what you're talking about. So I hang up and later she texts me or um, video chats me when the shoes she got or when she got her shoes and was like, I'm sorry about what I said. And I'm like, okay, um, I didn't mean it. I was just upset. And I'm like, okay, I understand. I'm here like over it. Cause I'm like, why? Like, I don't owe you anything. And she's like, I'm going to the store now. Um, should I get gray shoes? And I'm like, well, my opinion, you should, but you don't have to take it. Because I'm here like, if I, you just said my opinion, sabotage, your opinion, my opinion is horrible. I should not give you an opinion. So I'm just like, uh, whatever you like to do, basically. And I guess she was feeling how that really strained our relationship. And the next day, which is her prom date, I still go to her house. And even though I'm upset, I still go to her house. I didn't bail on her to do her makeup because I said I was going to do her makeup. I was going to fix her hair. I was going to help her get dressed. Like, I was going to just help her, you know, do her thing and look pretty for prom because I'm not an evil person, even though she said a whole bunch of horrible things. I'm still going to help her out because she has no one else to- oh my eyeliner looks horrible, oh my god, I'm really- I need to concentrate because this eyeliner is not cute, honey. Crap, let me tell you. But yeah, so I did her makeup and I was upset and she apologized again, which I was grateful for. You know, not a lot of people apologize and she did. She's like, I know I kind of went out of line. I was just upset, which I was like, I forgive you because you apologize. You understand why you're apologizing. And my biggest pet peeve is when people apologize, when people apologize, but they don't know what they're apologizing for. They just apologize so the per other person can feel happy and just like completely disregard it. But she actually knew why she was apologizing because she was out of line. She did say something that made no sense. And I get why she's frustrated because she spent so much money on this. But at the same time, like, and this is also her first prom. But the thing is, it wasn't... Like, even if it was my first prom, it's not that serious. This is something that can be fixed, you know what I mean? Like, you could get new shoes and call it a day, you know what I mean? Like, the shoe stores aren't closed. You wanna know what's the worst thing that can happen? Is you not having prom because that's probably the worst thing that can happen. No, I'm not telling myself because, um, I'm in college. <laughs> then, she goes to prom and everything's good and dandy and we stay friends. No, that is not what happens. That's what I kind of wish happened, but no. So, a lot of other things happened before that, but I'll talk about it later when I need to. Also, this eyeliner just, oh my god, who, who told me to do this eyeliner? Hopefully I can fix it with lashes, cause lashes fix everything, am I right? Or am I right? Anyways, here comes the time where I have this graduation ceremony because I'm graduating community college. And I asked her if she wants to come because it's not an actual like ceremony for graduation because I wasn't actually planning to go on get her trip. <laughs> 
I wasn't actually planning to go to graduation. Um, but I still wanted to like kind of celebrate something. Later on, I do go to commemoration, um, commemoration party. Just technically prom, but we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, so I invite her because she's my best friend and I wanted her to come. I didn't want my mom to come because it wasn't an actual like graduation graduation. It was more so like all your achievements, like a award ceremony type thing. So yeah, it was a little award ceremony and I dressed up nice, obviously, because you want to dress up pretty for an award ceremony. Um, and I invited her and she says like, oh, I'm busy. I don't think I can go. I'm really sick. Um, but I was like, okay, fine. You don't have to come then. I, I wasn't mad because I get it when I'm busy. I'm not like, I tell her and I can't come or whatever. Like she understands, like I can't be, well, sometimes she didn't, but you know, like if she didn't come, it would be fine. I was kind of upset about it, but you know, it's fine. I'm still going to go anyways. She ends up coming, and um, we hang out all day. We go do that, and then she meets a guy friend of mine who has a crush on me, um, and which I knew, but I didn't want him to say anything about it. Um, she hangs out with him for a while while I go to class because I'm not going to miss class because this is my like, intro to psychology class, and I love that class because I love psychology. Okay, can we stop talking about my love for psychology but yeah so i end up um i end up leaving and seeing them and then my friend leaves to go to chipotle and i'm like oh god don't tell me 